I have to tell y'all what just happened. I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, then it's just your favorite YouTuber. We're starting off a new vlog. Today is Tuesday, May 28th. And I'm about to get ready for work. I just wanted to start off a new vlog. I'm actually about to make this smoothie that I saw on TikTok. I've been loving dates lately. I think actually later on today I'm gonna make the little snicker like date things. I've been making them. Like I made them twice already. I scarf them down, it's ridiculous. But um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically just you take like a date and you put peanut butter inside and then you drizzle chocolate on top and you can add nuts if you want to and it makes it taste like a snicker bar. But I just do the peanut butter and the chocolate on top and it's, and then you freeze them for like 20 minutes and then you eat them and it's really, really good. It tastes like a snicker, but you can also put dates in smoothies and it makes them sweeter. So I'm gonna make a smoothie using dates and I'm just, I was watching this video on TikTok of this guy who did it, but I want to make a protein smoothie. So I'm gonna make it really quick. I just got to get all my stuff out. So I'm just using my blender. I've had this blender forever, so it's very old. I've had this since like my first apartment. So very, very old, over 10 years old. Um, I'm just gonna fill up these two bottles. I got them from Amazon and I'm gonna try to make enough to be able to fill up two because I wanna have at least two protein shakes today. Either I'm gonna make a baked potato for dinner or a salmon salad. So I've really been trying to eat better. <laughs> Even though yesterday I had a chicken sandwich with fries, I've still been trying to eat better. On the weekends, I'm not doing that great, but throughout the week, I've been doing so much better. So anyway, protein shake. Let me wash this again. I'm just gonna add a one full frozen banana, a full scoop of protein powder. This is the one that I use. And it has 25 grams of protein, so a pretty decent amount. I'm gonna add in four dates. Two tablespoons of flaxseed. Let's do three. A little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna use this pure vanilla flavor. It's the Trader Joe's brand. One cup of almond milk. I'm gonna add a little bit of ice and blend. Do you want a little bit of what's left? Like, not a bit is in my ear. 
Oh, this is really good. I have to get ready for work, so I'm gonna head up. But first, please look at Milo. This is what he likes to do. He likes to go outside and sunbathe. He would literally do this for like an hour or two. Mm. It's much later, I'm home from work and I just freshened up, put on some comfy clothes and I'm actually about to start editing the vlog or vlogs that you guys are gonna see before you see this one. And <laughs> so I need like a little pick me up. So I'm about to make myself a chai matcha um, or yeah, chai matcha latte. My eyebrows itchy. I came home to a couple of packages so I'm gonna open these up with you guys. Actually, I'm gonna move you over here because I feel like it's brighter than having you guys in my cabinet. I just feel like I'm tired of having the camera set up like this, but it's where I get the best lighting, so. Okay. I have no idea who these packages are from, but Why so beauty? Wait. It's their Why Perf Ude Perfume. The bottle looks so masculine, so I thought it was a cologne. Let's see, what's it say? This Father's Day, discover your signature scent with YSL. Beauty's timeless Y Ude Parfum for men. Oh, so it is for men. A captivating fragrance designed to express your unique essence. This scent features vibrant sage, an aromatic note that brings a touch of refinement and sophistication, clean geranium, a floral note that adds a hint of elegance and balances the overall composition rounded out by sensual woods and masculine incense. Hmm. Period. Okay. I feel like I should gift this to someone, but I kind of want to smell it myself. I wonder if this is the cologne that... I think it is. I think this is the cologne that we bought Leia's dad as like, we bought him like the travel size. Wait. Yeah, I think it is. Oh my God, this smells good. I have plenty of men in my life that I can give this to. So, set that to the side. I wish I didn't take the plastic off. All right, now, I'm sure that this is why I sell beauty also. Yep. In celebration of Pride Month, YSL Beauty invites you to embark on the transformative journey of Myself Ude Parfum. This fragrance is a manifestation of self-expression and a celebration of diversity, reshaping the very essence of identity. Myself twists the woody... Can I read? <laughs> Myself twists the woody fragrance family with flowers, creating a unique blend that embodies authenticity and originality. Embrace the true essence of who you are with myself and make a statement of self-love boldly, proudly, unapologetically. Period. The packaging. Hello? Are you kidding me? This sleek black. Wait, I love this. Okay. Wait, why does this, it smells very similar to this one. Okay, I'm gonna let it, let me let it dry down a little bit. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. 
Let me let it dry down a little bit, then I can give a better description of what it smells like. It still has like that hint of masculine. How do they describe it again? Myself twist the woody fragrance family with flowers. Definitely very woody, but I like it. It's sort of masculine, but it has a hint of feminine in there. It's like soft on the nose, but still has a little, little kick. Let me let it dry down a little bit more. Okay. I think it's meant to be unisex, which would make sense. Okay. I really like this. I do. This one I'm going to gift to one of the very important men in my life. And this one I will keep for myself. I still been hooking me up with all of the fragrances. I love that for me. All right, let me make my chai matcha or matcha chai. Um, so I watched like a few TikTok videos to see how I can make it, to see how to make it without having to add water to the matcha. I'm actually gonna use the Peak Tea Sun Goddess Matcha. I really like their matcha and I also like their, I really like their product. Like they sent me this matcha as well as like one of their other products like a, maybe a month and a half two months ago and i've been using their stuff i really like really like their products so like i said i'm going to use the sun goddess radiant skin matcha green tea matcha let me watch the video Where again matcha because the if you like chai tea or matcha, I am about to show you how to make the best coffee ever at home. I usually get this at Starbucks, but it's $12 for the drink, and I'm not having it anymore. Okay. So, like that much chai. Equal parts milk i'm gonna use this oat milk now i'm just gonna take a little bit of that's not a little hold on <laughs> i'm just gonna take a little bit of the condensed milk okay so like that much i'm just gonna dump the matcha on top i'm gonna do a couple pumps of vanilla bean syrup so like that I'm just gonna froth it all together. So I added ice to my cup. Now I'm just gonna dump the matcha on top. Just mix it all together. Oddly enough, the matcha sank right to the bottom. No, you can't have it. I don't know if it's because it's nicer out or what, but I've really been on a matcha kick. It's all I've been wanting. I haven't even really wanted coffee as much. Oh my God, that's fire. Y'all, that is so good. I'm making my matcha like this every day. I'm about to order another vanilla bean syrup off of Amazon. And I'm going to make my matcha like this every day. This is so good. I'm going to add a little more ice just to give the illusion of a fuller cup. And then I'm going to sit here and edit my vlog, light my candles, then edit my vlog. And um, this is probably what I'm going to end up doing for the rest of the day. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm doing something a little more exciting.
y'all. Let me lower you guys a little bit. It's a new day in the vlog. Hold on. It's a new day in the vlog and hi, <laughs> welcome back. So it's about 2.29, um, Thursday, May 30th. I'm off work. I just finished, well, not just, but like I uploaded a vlog today and I uploaded a vlog yesterday. Like I said, I'm tapping back into my content creator bag. So I'm actually gonna film a video. Actually, I wanna film two videos later on tonight, but I feel like the lighting in my office is just better at night when I can, when it's not like the natural daylight coming in and it's when I can use like my studio lights. So I'm gonna wait until later and sit down and film. But um, if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed because we got a lot of content coming, okay? And tell your friends about it tell your family tell your tell everybody tell your kids y'all come tap in okay we got something for everybody over here she's a multi-faceted queen <laughs> anyway milo and i are about to get ready and go for a walk but before we do that i wanted to show you guys this super cool pr package that i got yesterday from the one and only let me flatten this out so you can see it rare beauty babe rare beauty sent me this really cool i don't know if it's considered a makeup bag or like travel pack bag i don't know if it's considered like a makeup bag or travel pack bag but i am so excited about this i was looking on amazon like a couple months ago i was looking for a new makeup bag or just like a bag that i can keep my everyday products in now I have it, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so I wanna show you guys what's in it. So when you unzip the top part, we have the little um, description about the latest product that they came out with. It's the Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash. So this is their Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. And then I also have the body lotion and they sent a pump to go with it and then here is their gentle exfoliating body wash i really like their packaging too it's very um like neutral i love this and then the bottom has under eye patches which i didn't even know that they had these so that's nice they sent a set of eight cooling under eye gel patches that hydrate and smooth the under eye area for a refreshing look in minutes the perfect prep step before makeup Ooh, nice so i have a giveaway that i'm currently like i've been putting together products for this giveaway for a while now because some of the stuff like Leia is really into like if it's like skincare stuff or like not skincare but like body care um she also likes like my mascaras and things like that Leia loves it so whenever like I start a pile of things that I want to start giving away there's like a ton of products in there like I always get like a ton of mascaras and I just give whatever extras I have over to Leia but I have like a ton of skincare products that I want to include in my giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I have like lashes and things I wanna give away. Um, some like body care stuff. I have a bunch of stuff that I wanna give away. So stay tuned for that. But I wanna put like a couple of like eye patches um, in there. So I think I'm gonna put a few of these in the giveaway pile also. But look at this, you guys. This was also in the bottom of here little headband and this is so cute thank you so much to rare beauty for this i wonder if they're selling this bag if so i'm gonna link it because the compartments so it has this little mesh compartment here that you can put like toothbrushes and things or if you want like lip liners and things like that i will probably put in here and then this is like the size for like palettes if you want or um like foundations and things like that and then in here you can I don't know i probably would put like my powders or like my brushes and things in here so 
super cute i'm going to try to find it and then link it for you guys they would be crazy to not release this because i low-key want another one so i'll link it if i can find it for you guys but yeah i just wanted to show you that i need to put this box in the recycling before i go i wanted to show you guys i showed this in the last vlog but i had stuff on my lips so i've been using this little ysl it's the ysl candy glow balm and this one is in the shade 1b it's a very pretty like bubblegum pink it'll focus and let me show you guys what it looks like on my lips like it's so pretty with the She's That Girl by Patrick Ta blush. Stop playing. I'm about to get ready and go for a walk. I'm hitting my summer shred. I'm currently fasting. So I'm fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, more for like spiritual reasons, but also because I have a very unhealthy relationship with food. There, I said it. Seriously though, I have a very unhealthy relationship with food. I didn't realize it until like yesterday. And I was like, it's not that I, sorry if you hear Milo running around, he's literally chasing a fly. But it's not that I eat terribly, because I don't. I mean, sometimes I'm like a snacker, you know, like I snack, but I eat fairly healthy. The issue is what I eat is not good for like my hormones. And I think I've talked about this before, but I deal with like sometimes, sometimes I struggle with like hormonal imbalance and certain foods that I want and eat and crave create this problem for me so i'm fasting because i need to create a better relationship with food and also like this right here it needs to go it needs to go we we gotta get rid of it i can't i can't i can't live my life like this it has to go so <laughs> i'm going on a walk because i'm starting to feel like the hunger cravings kicking in and i don't want to give into it i'm gonna go for a walk i'm gonna go spend time with god um out in nature connect back to the source probably like put my feet in the grass you know the whole thing and yeah that's just what we're gonna be doing i'm gonna eat um i can break my fast at six but it's only i have like such a small window and i did this intentionally i'm um, also i'm only fasting for seven days so by next week thursday my fast will end but by then i'll be like really tapped in um so i am only consuming healthy leafy greens um keeping like protein so today i'm gonna have a shrimp salad um and just really making sure that I incorporate like vegetables, a ton of protein. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And like healthy carbs if need be, but my window to eat is six to eight. And I did six, I was gonna do six to seven, but because this week or tomorrow I work until six, I know I won't be home until almost seven. So I wanted to give myself time to eat. So I'm keeping my eating window from six to eight. But yeah, so if any of you want to do this fast with me, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> no, uh, but seriously, only if you feel called to do so. It's just me like kickstarting my summer shred. I honestly should have started this a while ago and I tried and I kept falling off. And, you know, thinking back is just the fact that I have a very unhealthy relationship with food. I like to eat. And that's just that on that. I used to be able to eat whatever and I was happy and content and I was the perfect size or whatever. I felt very confident and happy and healthy. But now, you know, I'm getting older. I got to like really lock in. I want to be here for many years to come with my child and, you know, for myself and for y'all. So I need to get it together. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, this week. We will be fasting. I'll show you guys my meals um, as long as I'm vlogging. I'll show you guys what it is that I'm making. But like I said today, I'm making a shrimp salad. Very easy meal. Um, I'll show you guys how I make it or how I prep it. It's very, very simple. So yeah, and filling. So that's important. But yeah, so that's what we have going on. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. You guys, I finally have a Stanley. And it's not because I bought it. As part of my Mother's Day gift, I don't know if I told you guys that, but Leah bought me the simple modern one. And then she turned around and bought me this for Mother's Day. 
I'm just like, so <laughs> that was super sweet. So I have this now. I'm gonna bring this with me on my walk. I just have to fill it up really quick. But the Simple Modern is my favorite just because of the size and the style of the cup. But this one is perfect for like working out or if you go for like walks and things. So I will have both of them linked. But if I were to choose between the two, the Simple Modern is my it's my baby. I love it. I keep it right at my bedside. Um, but anyway, okay, so I'm gonna fill this up, put my socks on, got my shoes, got my bag, and I got my headphones. Milo is really trying to catch this fly, y'all. The reason why there is even a fly in the house is because the census people came. They just came around and I had the door open and I was talking to the guy, which he was the most adorable old man I've ever seen in my life. He was so just sweet like he had the sweetest spirit he was so adorable he's like they've tried coming here like five other times and um after the sixth the, the sixth attempt then we just you know say like oh no one lives there he's like you're my first person that i'm speaking to today and so i'm a little bit nervous he was kind of shaky he's like i'm a little bit nervous so please bear with me and i was like oh no it's okay and it's so funny because after i got done talking to him leah was standing at the top of the stairs listening to the whole conversation but she's like he's so sweet i'm like i know it's sad because i still got a teacher just because they sweet they still can't be trusted you know no, I'm just kidding. But no, he genuinely <laughs> seemed like a sweet guy. Like I said, he was an older white man and he was just very kind and gentle and I appreciated that. But standing there talking to him all this time let some flies in my house. So anyway, I will see you guys on the walk. Mm, let's go. So I'm about to get out of the car and I got on Instagram because I was about to film a little Instagram story. Let me read to you guys the first thing that I see when I get on the app. It says, God, it's easy for me to worry about circumstances in my life. Each day, help me to remember that you are always in control. Today, I'm trusting in your provision, protection, and plans for me. Because I know you care about every need and desire I have, I know I can rest. Give me peace as I give you control of my life. Have we not been talking about confirmation and didn't i just tell you guys two vlogs ago to ask for peace and ask god to grant you peace did i not say that i needed rest and god knew i needed rest hello confirmation confirmation i literally just said i'm about to go on this walk and spend time with god this was confirmation for something that i've been thinking about listen when you can't put your prayers into words god hears your heart he knows our thoughts i don't mean to get preachy but like i just want you to tap in if you haven't already you know anyway let's go for this walk ah! <laughs> not me getting attacked by my seatbelt all right let me put my headphones on ah Before I go home, I have to tell y'all what just happened. Okay, really quick, look at my, I did five miles, okay? 
five miles. Hold on, I need to put something on my lips. But this is why I can never stop bragging about God. And this is why I talk about God because I need people to really understand just how amazing God is. Y'all know, I told y'all I was going on a walk so I could spend time with God. So I'm on the walk. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do three miles. As I'm walking, I put my key fob because I didn't, I don't have any pockets. So I put my key fob in my bra. <laughs> now I know that that wasn't smart, but that's what I did. So I put my key fob in my bra. On the walk, I'm listening to my music. So I got my headphones blaring in my ears. I'm listening to my um, gospel playlist. I'm like really, I'm just in my zone. I, I'm not paying attention to anything. I'm just like in my zone. Walking, 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 whatever. Once I hit the three mile mark, I literally hit the three mile mark once I made it to my car. So I walk up to my car and I press the button to try to get in my car and I'm like, I feel my bra, key fob gone. Y'all, I just walked three miles. Key fob not on me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I was about to panic and then I brought myself back down to earth. I'm like, okay. So y'all know what I do. I told y'all what I do every time I lose something or whatever, I pray. I always pray, I ask God to lead me to whatever it is that I'm looking for. And I believe in my heart that he will do just that. I just can't help it that every time I lose something, I go straight to him, Lord help, lead me to it, you know? So I was about to panic and I was like, nope, nope, I'm not gonna panic. Lord, I ask that you lead me to it. Lead me to my key fob. Mind you, y'all, it's a whole path. People are walking up and down this path all day, three miles. There's grass on the sides and then it's the path. I'm so dramatic, but like, so I start walking back on the path in the direction that I came from, you know, like retracing my steps. So I end up calling Leah because Leah's at her friend's house that lives right over here and she rode her bike. I call Leah, like, Leah, can you please, cause I know she's on a bike. I'm like, can you please come and help me find my key fob? I lost my key fob, I can't find it, whatever. So Leah comes, you know, to try to help me. She's riding her bike down the path cause she's trying to see if she can see the key fob. I walked back down the path to see if I could see the key fob. Got all the way to the end still didn't see it so I'm walking back now here's the thing while I was on my walk I didn't really pay attention to anyone else but I saw three little boys they had to be around the age of like 12 13 each of them so I see these three little boys two on a bike one on a scooter I remember this specifically mind you I'm passing so many people I cannot tell you what any of these other people look like but these three little boys I remember specifically I kept seeing them on my walk so I FaceTime Leah because Leah's on the bike so she's ahead of me so I FaceTime Leah I'm like do you see three little boys on on bikes and um she's like no I'm like really I'm like you don't see them she's like no I'm like you don't see them by the community center nothing she's like no I'm like, okay, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna have to call a locksmith and try to figure this out. So I'm walking back towards my car or like the direction of my car and I see the little boys and it's two adults with them and they have like a little baby. And so the little baby and one of the little boys are embracing each other. So I stopped the two adults. I'm like, have you guys seen a black key fob on your walk? They were like, no, we haven't seen it. And when I asked the adults this, the boys looked up, like they looked at me. So the adults asked the boys, they were looking like, what, what's a key fob? So they're like, yeah, the key thing that you use to start your car. One of the boys, he's like, wait, is it black? And I was like, yeah, he's like, it has like the buttons on it or whatever. I'm like, yeah, he was like the car key. Cause I kept saying key fob. So he's like, it's black. I was like, yeah, he was like, oh, the car key. And I was like, yeah. He's like, I think I saw it over by the garbage can. The two adults were like, why don't you guys, since you guys are on bikes, why don't you guys go over there and see if you still see it? So they ride down there and the one who said he saw it, he rides back, he has the key fob in hand. He's like, it's a Nissan? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I, here it is. Like I instantly just wanted to praise God. Listen, I kept calling on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit kept showing me those three little boys. I don't know why, well, I now know why, but at the time I had no idea why I kept picturing these three little boys. I even, like I said, I even asked Leah, like, do you see those, do you see three boys on bikes? Leah was like, no. She had no idea what I was talking about, but I kept picturing those little boys. And I said to myself, if I saw them, I was gonna ask them. And it just so happened that when I stopped to talk to the adults, the adults had the younger sibling, they they were the grandparents of the one of the little boys. The good thing is I got my key fob and I walked five and a half miles, okay? I kept saying, help me Holy Spirit. He led me right to it. Oh. Y'all better tap in. That's all I got to say. You better tap in. All right, I'm gonna go home and eat because it's already 619 and your girl is starving. So 
I'll see you guys once we make it home because I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna make some food and then we're also gonna make a quick dessert. So, see y'all in a second. You guys, Leah said that she <laughs> I told Leah that she could sleep in my bed tonight and she was like, nope, I gotta stand on business. <laughs> and I was like, okay, stand on it. And she was like, nope, never mind, I'm sitting. <laughs> You're no longer standing on business? No, I'm sitting. <laughs> I'll be mad, I'm not gonna lie. Do you wanna do the dates? No. So really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how I make these like viral dates. You take the dates, and then you slice them and open them up. You don't slice them in half, but you slice like one side and you open them up and take the, is this the seed, I guess? You take this out and then I do like six at a time. So take and open, I'm just gonna open them up. and then take the little seed out. Okay, so you open them up like that. It looks disgusting on camera, but that's what you do. And then you just pull the seed out. And if you like Snickers or you're someone who likes sweets, this is the perfect treat for you. I love Snickers and that used to be my guilty pleasure but ever since I started making these, I don't, I have not like bought a Snicker. Oh, shoot. So I have like bars of chocolate. I just put it in a plastic bag like that. And then I just take a bowl and I put, I don't know why. Me and my child both have a bad habit of leaving cabinet doors open. I take and I put the bag in the bowl like that. And then I have hot water. So I'm just gonna, okay. So I'm just gonna take and pour the water over the chocolate. This is melting very quickly, as you guys can see. This is the peanut butter that I'm gonna use. It's the Trader Joe's brand and it's my favorite one. It's very creamy, hold on. Scoop some out and put it, oh, that was messy. But I just put it in the inside of the date. I need to open these up a little more. The chocolate is nice and melted. I'm gonna cut the tip of the bag and then drizzle chocolate on top. Ah, uh, there's a hole in two spots. Almost a quarter. Oh my 
man, it's spreading out a lot now. We're down to the wire. I think that's good. <laughs> Do that one like over here. Do you want some chocolate? Open up. Ready? And zoom in. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these in the freezer for 20 minutes. Oh wait, I need to take a picture. Behind the scenes of her Instagram post. <laughs> In the freezer they go. In the freezer. In the jungle. The mighty jungle. The lion sleeps. Tonight. In the jungle. The mighty jungle. The lions Tonight. In the jungle, the mind. Yeah, I don't use this video. <laughs> That's why I'm weak because you move backwards. Okay, ready? Okay. And action. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they're done. They were in the freezer for about 25 minutes now. So I'm just gonna have one of them they are so good you guys if you have not tried these before definitely try them or if you like chocolate try these out they're so good mm, so good i need to shower and get ready for bed actually i already took a shower what am i saying i've had one heck of a day today and i'm exhausted so i'm gonna call it a night because I have work tomorrow and I work a long day tomorrow. I'm outside. So I love you guys. I will see you later. Good night. It's been days since you guys have last seen me, but hi guys. Welcome to another day in the vlog. So I'm getting ready to run out to go to my nail appointment, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick little OOTD. We're rocking with the Gucci half moon bag. I have on this slice skims top, these skims briefs i don't know i don't think you're supposed to wear them out the house but listen um and then i'm just layering gold necklaces gold jewelry gold or like all gold accessories this gray like cardigan um just because i know it's probably going to be cold in the nail shop but i'm gonna slip on my little slides once i get downstairs by the door but i just wanted to say welcome back to another day in the vlog and i'll catch you guys up in a little bit but Oh yeah, and my sunglasses are my YSL dupes. But let's go. Nails are done. I washed my hands afterwards and now they're like kind of crunchy, but we did some pretty flowers. Anyway, I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna run in here real quick to get like a few things that I need. But I did wanna tell y'all, so I wasn't vlogging because, so this weekend, Leah went to her dad's house. I was working a lot of the time this weekend, so I wasn't really vlogging. It just wasn't, you know, anything exciting happening. Um, but yesterday, Leah went to the fair that was like not too far from our house. And I ended up going up there, but I was only there for like 30 minutes. Um, so I didn't like vlog yesterday either, but yesterday after the fair, I let Leah go to her friend's house. And then last night when she was there, she texted me cause I let her go for a little bit. I told her that I would pick her up by 9 30, 10. And, um, she texted me a little bit earlier and was like, mom, I'm ready. So I was like, oh, that's weird. Usually she wants to stay until the very last minute. So I go pick her up and she was like, I'm just not feeling well. My head hurts, my body aches, and um, I have a sore throat. And I'm like, oh my God, like that's the last thing that we need, right? So I'm like, okay. So she takes her shower, she goes to bed. Um, so this morning when she got up, I'm like, okay, we need to make sure that this isn't like COVID or anything contagious, whatever. So we got all that figured out. She doesn't have COVID or anything, um, but she is sick. So I do have her still quarantined because you know, 
y'all know it's all these other strains and things that go around we just need to be safe so i have her quarantined in her room i just pulled up to trader joe's really quick so i'm gonna come in here and get like um i made like a little list i heard that they have their peonies finally i've been waiting for the longest time for them to get their peonies in it sounds like i'm saying panties pants it's no i'm saying peonies peonies that's what i hear some people calling it but it's they're pronounced peonies the the i was about to say the peonies the flowers um so i heard that they have them so i'm gonna run in here and get those i need to get um some more dates and i want to get leah some um i want to see if they have like some medicine that she can take she does not like taking anything liquid so that's always hard i remember one time i gave her some liquid medicine and she threw it up like the exorcist and I just I can't put myself through that again I can't put her through it but I really can't put me through it either so I'm gonna run in here and um just grab a couple things that I need for the house like really getting the house together I like did my room and stuff clean my bathroom up and just like made the house look nice and clean again you know working has really had me like not really like I feel like I've been slacking just a little bit where I've been doing more like surface level cleaning and I like to like get in and you know get to the nitty-gritty so today I actually calls off work because i wanted to make sure that leah was you know taken care of my baby's health means more to me than any job so i made sure to get that situated and you know she's feeling better so um that's you know a good sign she, today was actually the first day that she was supposed to start practice for cheer for the cheer season but you know it is what it is she couldn't go so anyway like i said um, I'm about to run into Trader Joe's. I just wanted to start off another day in the vlog. Say what's up. Hi. I can bring y'all. Come on. Come on, y'all. It's a beautiful day outside, too. I ain't gonna leave y'all in the car. update there are no peonies in here
outside. Sitting in nature has really been helping my overall like health. It's so good for your health or my health, I guess I should say. Every day I've been taking time to just either go for walks or sit outside, try not to be too loud because there are bunnies over here and birds up here on the bird feeder. So I don't want to disrupt them and they're in their natural habitat. But it's so peaceful. I'm gonna go inside in a little bit and like shower and settle down for the night. And I'm probably gonna end off this vlog so that I can start editing it and get it uploaded. I might edit it tomorrow so that I can get it uploaded for you guys. But I just wanted you guys to hear what I hear every single day, every morning and night. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside and get my book, do a little bit of reading before it gets too dark and I end up calling it a night but I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here so I want to thank you guys also oh before I end off the vlog though the salmon that I made I'm gonna put the recipe on the screen while I'm making it oh my god it was it was so good I had already made the salmon and and sliced the peppers earlier and then I just ended up um, sauteing the peppers and making the sauce and then heating up the salmon in the sauce and you guys it was incredible so good i'm also still fasting so um i've been eating between six and eight i've already lost three pounds th three or four pounds like i feel like my body is starting to get adjusted to the fasting period because even though like early i feel like maybe around like noon i'll start to get a little bit hungry but then once i'm like drinking water all day I'm like I don't even think about it and then by like 6 I'm not even really hungry but I eat because I know my body needs it so I'm on like a super restricted eating um, I'm sorry fasting schedule so I'm literally only eating between the hours of 6 and 8 so yeah but I've also been finding other things to do with my time where I'm not focusing on consuming food and I'm realizing that I really did have like such a very unhealthy relationship with food I'm just like such a snacker like I'm just like the first couple days I'm like I just want a snack I just want to I just want to have a snack but now like I think yesterday because I started Thursday so today's Monday so yesterday was the first day that I was just kind of like oh, I don't I'm not hungry I'm not even thinking about it so yeah, I think I might keep up with um, fasting past Thursday. I was only gonna do this restricted one for seven days and then I think I'm gonna expand my window um, just a little bit. Maybe like do like a four hour window. So we'll see, but I'll keep you guys posted. And um, I already feel like lighter. I feel, I don't feel as like puffy and bloated so that's good but I've been making sure to drink a lot of water I've started taking like different supplements um, and I'll update you guys in the next video so stay tuned for that but anyway I am gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here I love you guys so much do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you made it all the way to the end thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and support and i will catch you guys in the next one